Welcome back for another edition of the Down Low. Uh, today we're outside Xfinity Arena, uh, but we're heading across the street to the parking lot. We're talking and messing with guys' cars, and uh, right now I'm going to go mess with Ben Becker's lawnmower. So. So, uh, I'm here with Ben Becker, and obviously, uh, what was it like to come out and to have a cone on top of your car mixed with a no parking sign? Uh, I don't think this car should be in the lot. Well, uh, I mean, maybe it could serve other people elsewhere, but I do have a parking lot thing in my car. Like, I'm, I'm very much allowed to park here. Fair enough. Yeah. So you're a towering 6'6", six, six, uh, maybe 6'5", and uh, I'd say the... The roof on this thing is a solid four and a half feet. So, um, is, is it pretty custom paint job? By is, the way? is it pretty compact in there? Uh, yeah, no, it's actually very roomy for me. I mean, I wouldn't recommend anyone sitting behind me. It's pretty much maxed out. But there's lots of room. Great turning radius. Yeah. Five. <laughs> this thing turns on a dime, son. <laughs> yeah. So what, what's under the hood? Under the hood there. <laughs> is that two banger, four banger, six banger? What do we got? It's a sewing machine type engine, very, very similar to a John Deere. Yeah. But uh, hey, man, this thing goes one to sixty in about six seconds. So look out. Fair enough. So, uh, <laughs> so uh, obviously, what, what are you sitting on here? I mean, thirteens. <laughs> so obviously, Ben, you might be uh, running into some money here pretty pretty quick. Uh, what would your next car be? Oh, oh, oh boy. Yeah, sorry. What would your next car be um, if you don't already have one planned out? What are you, what are you thinking of buying? Uh, I don't know. There's there's a lot of nicer ones out there than this one. <laughs> Say the least. Say that again. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the Volkswagen Touareg is really nice. Um, I like the Infiniti cars, like the brand new ones. Those are nice. But, you know, maybe an Audi. Yeah. I don't know. Just sort of surfing. Nothing in particular right now. Well, Ben, thanks a lot for your uh, thanks a lot for your time today, and uh, get home safe. <laughs> <laughs> thanks. <man. laughs> All right, we're gonna go talk to Jake McKidick and Lucas Scramito over here. Whoa. What are you doing, Lil? <laughs> Almost got hit by a go kart. <laughs> uh, Austin Lots, what are you working with here? Uh, Kia Soul 2013, white, uh, mint condition, really. Yeah. Still in good shape. Runs like a top. Like a what? Like a top. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, I'm gonna let you get on your way because I told I told you last time uh, in the last episode of the down low we were never gonna have you on again, <laughs> <That's right. laughs> and I'm sticking to that promise. So you, you, you're excused to leave. I really appreciate that. Thank you. All right, get over here. All right. All right. So anyway. <laughs> okay. Now we're gonna go talk to Lucas Scramita and Jake McKidiak. Uh Lucas, thanks for uh, giving me the time of day. You're uh, so you got. Chrysler Sebring here. Uh, what year you got? Uh, 06 model. 06, and it just purrs like a cat. Eh? Yeah, I would say so. <laughs> and uh, Jake, uh, how is it riding with uh, Lucas every morning? Obviously, being from Manitoba, you know, they don't really have anything to run into. So what's it like for him being down here? Uh, I think it's been a tough transition for him a little bit with the bigger, bigger city and things like that. But I think he's done a really good job. There's only been one or two close calls, and he doesn't ask for gas money, so I can respect that. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, you know, Lucas, from your opinion, who's got a nice car on the team? Uh, Tristan Pfeiffer has a nice vehicle. Uh, Noah Jolson drives a nice truck. Uh, Logan Aisman, your Jeep's pretty nice, too. Yeah, that's all right. I would say so. And, yeah, a lot of crappy cars on the team, too, I would say. So, uh, besides Ben's, whatever that is, <laughs> who, who is the second worst car, would you say? Uh, there's a lot of older models out here, but Rem, Rem's Ford Escape is... It's <laughs> better days. <laughs> it's it should be retired. <laughs> now I'm uh, occupied with Ivan Nikolishin and Logan Aisman in the passenger seat. There, uh, first of all, Ivan, your dad, uh, you know, bought you this this year, and you've made the transition into driving legally. So, uh, what's it like? You know, how, how do you like uh, driving in uh, in Washington? Oh, I like it a lot. Uh, it's uh, not a lot of traffic as back home in Russia. Because it's really nice, nobody really honks at me. Because at the start, I was not a really good driver, but I'm getting better. You can ask Logan. I'm getting better. And uh, we'll get to Logan in a second. So I just wanted to know, like, what's it like uh, driving here without cows and army tanks running all over the roads? Uh, 
I wouldn't say that there's no cows here, but definitely no army tanks. <laughs> and uh, so, Logan, um, uh, truthful answer here from you. What is it like uh, riding with Ivan every day? Are you scared for your life? Uh, you know, I'll be honest, for the first month, two months, I was I was putting my life into, my, into Ivan's hands every time I stepped in this vehicle um, <laughs> and the lives of other people around us. But uh, I'll be honest, it's gotten better. Uh, it's still... Nothing like it should be, but it, it's slowly <laughs> progressing. I mean, Logan, does he still not know all the rules? Uh, uh, let's be honest. I know all the rules here. No, I don't think he knows the rules. He thinks he knows the rules. Yeah. As like, you know, he likes to lie, but... Yeah. But I, I make the rules, so I know the rules. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, that's, that's enough. Uh, thank you, Ivan and Logan, for, uh, <clears throat> for joining me today. Yeah, thank you. Terrible turn. <laughs> yeah, yeah, buckle up. That's a disaster waiting to happen. Oh my god, he left him open. Oh, we've hit the jackpot. Guy loves chocolate milk. I could just I could taste them all in here. So don't leave your uh, car unlocked around the boys. This, this is what's gonna happen, but. <laughs> I think you just learned a, uh, a valuable rookie lesson here. Don't leave your car unlocked around the boys. Yeah, it's uh Yeah, thanks boys. You know, it's a good lesson learned and uh, it won't happen again. All right, well, that. you know what? Thanks for thanks for being a good sport about it. Uh, clean yourself up there. All right, now let's go. We're going to go uh, talk to uh, Ramon Cell over here. Hey, we'll get to you. So now I'm with uh, Testy. Feisty Remy Lawrence. So earlier, uh, your car was taking a little bit of flack from uh, teammates Jake McKidiak and Lucas Scramita. They were basically saying you had the worst car on the team, which I don't agree with because, I mean, well, I don't agree with that. But wha what would you say to a guy like Jake McKidiak who doesn't even drive? Uh, I, I don't think he's tall enough to drive anyways, but, <laughs> you know, he's, he's going to need one of those extra things, those little blocks to hit the pedal. Well, Ram, you're doing a pretty good job of keeping it in tip-top shape. So, you know, thanks for joining me today here. Thank you for having me. Remy Lawrence, always a pleasure to have on the show. Uh, now we're going to wander over here to... Uh... Can I choose spot? No, you're in a great spot. Um, my Russian roommate, Nikita Sherbak. Uh, Nikita, you've had your license, your legal license, uh, all of two weeks. How are you enjoying your car? It's good, you know, a lot of emotions driving this car with my great roommates, Braden Wall, right beside me all the time, every day, wake up, you know, and it's make me go on, it's make my day great, you know. All right, so a lot like Logan Aisman, uh, my life is in jeopardy um, every time I step in of Nikita's car and, um, you know, I'm just, I'm just happy that, you know, he's, I'm getting to and from the rink. So today we got a little bit of a gift here. Uh, this was not planned at all. Uh, two anonymous characters on our team uh, decided to take it a step further and mess with Ben Betker's car. Uh, as you can see, uh, toilet paper, I think that's syrup on the handle. Um, $50 worth of packing peanuts from Staples. So I think they got them. Um, needless to say, it's all fun and games here. and. Um, Ben might have a tough time swimming over this one. So thanks for watching and stay tuned.